Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys, this is Sarah. Um, I'm coming on here because I wanted to chat with you guys. If you're looking at the time on the video and you're like, oh my god, this video is so long, um, please don't worry about watching the whole thing. <laughs> Whatever you have time to share with me, then that's great. Um, because I'm going to be talking about a whole bunch of different things here with you guys and I just wanted to kind of chat with you. Um, I know that you, I haven't seen you guys in a very long time and honestly, that is because I am lazy. <laughs> I have a lot of things going on in my life, obviously. I work full time, I have other things going on, but really, I'm not the best YouTuber out there as far as regularly posting videos, as far as, you know, the quality and things like that, but honestly, I want to get I would love to get back into posting YouTube videos. Um, I actually really care about you guys as my audience and I like hearing from you guys whenever I hear from you and I still get comments on my videos. I still read those comments um, and I would like to keep making videos for you. So part of this chat today, I kind of want to see where you guys are as far as how you would feel about me making different kinds of videos and that kind of thing. But I also want to give you guys an update with what's going on with me lately. So as far as what's going on with me right now, um, because of all this stuff with the virus going on right now, I am working from home. I've been working from home for about the past three weeks or so, um, which is amazing. I love working from home. <laughs> if I could work from home all the time, I really would, honestly, because I hate commuting. I love being able to work in, you know, my pajamas and not wear my scarf at home, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm wearing it at home for the video right now, but usually I do not wear my scarf at home, obviously. Um, you know, it's so much better to that I, you know, feel like I have so much free time to do other things when your time isn't taken up by commuting and getting ready for work and coming back and having that downtime of having to de-stress, but you still get the same amount of work done when you're working remotely. At least for me, my job really can be done pretty much completely on the computer. So um, for me, the transition to home, working from home was very easy. Um, by the way, is anybody else's house right now? If you're working from home or, you know, you're, you're inside because you have to quarantine or stay in place, whatever, whatever they're calling you right now where you live, um, is anybody else's house like cleaner than it's ever been? <laughs> My house is insanely clean. I'm cleaning, you know, every time I have a break from work where I'm on my lunch break or I'm on one of my, you know, smaller breaks that I get throughout the day, um, I'm just cleaning my house that usually what I would be, I would be cleaning after work when I would come home and I'm exhausted and I don't really want to clean. Um, you know, on my breaks, I don't mind cleaning because it's a good chance for me to get up and move around. And, you know, since I'm usually sitting all day working on my computer, right, uh, I can, you know, get up and move around and do some cleaning and that kind of thing. So, um, my house has been insanely clean. I think you guys can see behind me that it, you know, it looks pretty, pretty, you know, neat back there. I mean, our room is always pretty minimal to be honest we don't have like a whole lot of stuff in our bedroom i'm filming in my bedroom right now um we have two nightstands i'm sitting on the bed right now we have two nightstands on either side of our bed we have a closet over there and then we have the dresser behind me which has a couple of photos and that kind of thing on it but really like our room is mostly pretty minimal but it does get messy in here like i'll have like you know stuff on the nightstand from getting or uh, stuff on the dresser from getting ready or like a bunch of clothes piled up in that corner over there because i was too lazy and you know just threw them in the corner instead of hanging them up um so it uh, like it's amazing seeing my house this clean because I kind of describe myself as a messy clean person <laughs> I make a big mess but then I want to clean it up and have it clean because I really like having a clean space so I usually do have a pretty clean space but like it's kind of almost like a 50 50 where it'll look really horrible but then like later in the day it'll look fine you know so um because i am that kind of messy clean person that wants to make a mess and then clean it up which is re really terrible <laughs> to be completely honest <laughs> so but i love my house being clean i love working from home as far as like bigger life updates and that kind of thing you know uh, 
well, thankfully, first of all, I, I'm very thankful, alhamdulillah, that both me and my husband have been able to keep our jobs through this whole thing. So that's great. I hope all of you guys, inshallah, are still working, um, you know, if you can from home. Um, of course, I, I don't hope that anybody is going out and being exposed, but I mean, we, we all have to make a living somehow. And I hope that where we can, we're only going out as necessary and staying inside in order to try to get this thing eradicated. But as far as for bigger life updates, you know, I think that, I think the last time I made a video, me and my husband were already in our new apartment. Oh, I'm not maybe, I'm not sure about that. It's actually been a really long time since I did a video, I'm sorry. But this, um, we're in our apartment right now. I no longer live with my in-laws. Um, we really like living on our own in our own apartment. And right now, um, we actually are saving up to buy a house. Of course, with all this craziness going on, I'm not really sure what's going to end up happening with that. I mean, maybe housing prices will fall. Who knows what's going to happen. But right now, we're basically just saving up to buy a house. So, um... As far as, you know, what's going on with my YouTube channel and all that, I would love to start making more videos for you guys, and I'd love to start really increasing the quality of my videos. I really hope that this video is, you know, that you guys will see that hopefully there's going to be a noticeable quality difference compared to some of my past videos. I mean, I don't have fancy kind of YouTube YouTuber equipment like lighting and you know uh, like a DSLR camera or amazing things like that but I'm trying to upgrade as much as I can right now I'm actually filming on my cell phone which has a pretty good video camera so hopefully the quality will be good enough for you guys on that front and um, as far as for the sound I have picked up a, uh, a mic to be clipped on to me of course you guys can see it here in the video which obviously is not pretty but I'm hoping that there will be a noticeable sound quality difference because I really have heard <laughs> you guys' pleas for better sound quality for me because, oh, believe me, I know that my sound quality is not good on my past videos. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of amazed with the things that they can do with YouTube videos nowadays because it's kind of like everybody's YouTube video looks amazing and sounds amazing and has all of these effects and stuff like that. But honestly, I, I am not any kind of professional photographer or videographer or anything like that. And I really need to learn all of these things in order to kind of make a better experience for you guys <laughs> for my videos because I'm completely aware of the quality issues with my videos and I'm really hoping that I can continue to improve those for you guys because I don't want you guys to not enjoy my videos because of quality issues and um, I mean I'm really hoping that you guys can hear me better because of this camera or excuse me because of this microphone that I'm using in this video. Um, please let me know if the sound quality is still not good enough um, using this microphone. I mean of course I'm gonna still keep trying to improve things but please let me know if for whatever reason the sound is you know still not good enough in this video and I'll keep trying to see what I can do to improve this because believe me I have watched my own old videos to kind of like get a gauge for either stuff that I haven't done before or um, to kind of like look at the quality and that kind of thing and I know I know how terrible the, the sound quality is um, I I think that you know, especially for me, I'm hard of hearing. I have significant hearing loss. <laughs> um, I actually wear hearing aids and uh, that I have significant hearing loss because of a medical condition. Um, and so I know that sound quality needs to be better, not just for people like me, but for everybody. Um, and by the way, if you're a YouTuber out there, side note, <laughs> if you're a YouTuber out there and you make videos, please turn on your auto captions because I don't know how many videos that I've watched where I'm having a difficult time hearing and I'm watching it and I'm going, okay, I can't really tell what they're saying and I'm having a hard time. And then I realize, oh, they don't have any captions on, you know, because I, 
my videos are almost all that I watch on auto caption and um, I everything that I watch has auto captions and when somebody hasn't turned on auto captions I notice because all of a sudden I feel like I'm having a hard time hearing them and then I go oh right that's because I'm not reading what they're saying at the same time it's almost like you don't notice the captions after a while when you use them all the time but please use auto captions I know that uh, it's not correct a hundred percent of the time and there's there's definitely some funny things that come up in the captions when the auto captions aren't correct but most of the time they are correct and it's really great for people like me who are hard of hearing who have a difficult time um so by the way if anybody knows any youtubers out there um like especially um like hijabi youtubers out there that wear hearing aids and have any like tips as far as like wearing your hearing aids with your hijab please let me know because i'm always looking for new things to um to do with my hijab that also works like with my hearing aids i know that um samantha miriam she wears hearing aids she wears her her hijab in like a little bit of a different style than i do hers is like a little bit looser and she does wear it that way because of her hearing aids um so I, I know that she does. I'm actually not sure of any other hijabi YouTuber though that I know of that wears hearing aids. For me, I'm not sure if you, you guys probably saw when I turned, I bet, but um, I actually cut holes in my underscarf around my entire ear so that my hearing aid has like um, better, I, I don't want to say reception because that's not really what it is, but like ability for the sound to go to it and my scarves are really really thin so you can actually see my ears through my hijab which to me is not ideal I don't really like that but it's better than not being able to hear at all um because the hearing aids do need like a certain amount of like room and breathability in order to receive the sound in them um so if anybody knows of a hijabi youtuber then that would be awesome um as far as like things that I'm doing right now, um, you know, I have been watching a lot more Bollywood movies lately. <laughs> Has anybody else been watching Bollywood movies that you never had time to watch before? Um, I know that probably a lot of you out there watch Bollywood movies. I feel like in the Muslim community, when you're in the Muslim community, there's kind of like two main groups of people that you see all the time, the Arabs and the Daisies, right? So. Um, I mean, of course, we have Muslims from everywhere, but, like, especially if you live in, in the U.S. and you're living in, like, um, or, or, like, any kind of, like, multicultural, multicultural Muslim communities, those are, like, the two biggest groups of people. Of course, you have Muslims that are from everywhere, you know, from, from Morocco or anywhere else in Africa or, um, you know, from, for example, uh, why am, why am I blanking out right right now? Like Uyghurs or Indonesians or Malaysians or you know anywhere else. But the I feel like the biggest two groups you kind of see out here are the Arabs and the Daisies. So I'm sure that all of you Daisies know about Bollywood movies. You might have grown up with Bollywood movies, <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. Um, but you know, an idea that I kind of toyed with as well is doing Bollywood movie reviews um, for you guys to kind of maybe introduce you to some Bollywood movies that you haven't seen before. Um, I mostly actually watch older Bollywood movies, so I don't really tend to watch any Bollywood movies that are maybe from like 2010 or newer because I feel like a lot of those movies are kind of just like I don't know a waste of time I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to like like paint it as a brush like that but I feel like Bollywood has kind of gone a lot more towards trying to like emulate western movies in and like throw away a lot of Indian culture to in like the kind of spirit of being like super modernized and like that's to me that's not really what I watch Bollywood movies for and I think that there has been some really good m newer movies I mean everybody I know of course loved Dungle that was a really good movie I liked Baji Rao Masani the story was not like the best amazing but the songs were really good the aesthetics were really good the costumes the sets everything was really pretty so um that was really nice about that movie um there was also um 
oh, I just remembered the name. So this is actually not Bollywood, it's Tollywood, but um, Bahubali, that was really good. Um, and I enjoyed that movie a lot. I'm sure that somebody's going to be correcting me on how to actually say the names of these things in the comments, so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing stuff wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so th those, those movies were really good. I'm sure there's, there, ha I'm, I'm absolutely positive there's been more movies that I liked that are newer, but that's a few examples. A lot of the movies that I've been watching lately are actually a lot older, like from the 70s or the 80s, and um, even though there's a lot of really bad movies from that time, okay, the 80s were a rough time for everybody, including India, okay? <laughs> So there's some really horrible movies from the 80s, but I think that for people who are not that familiar with Bollywood movies, who aren't daisies, there's kind of like the where do you even jump in with some of these movies? Because like I was saying, there could be either really horrible Bollywood movies and then there's really good amazing Bollywood movies that if you're into Bollywood movies that you want to watch it over and over again, which of course, I it, like some examples that I think all of us can think of are like some of the like classic like Shah Rukh Khan movies like uh, Diwali Dulhania Ling Jang, <laughs> which I know somebody's gonna correct me. I'm so sorry, you guys, but I'm doing my best as a white person to pronounce these things, okay? <laughs> um, like Diwali Dulhania Dulhania Ling Jang, um, or like uh, you know, why am I blanking out right now? any of those movies from the early 2000s that everybody is like really in love with or like uh uh kabi kushi kabi gum or um like oh, i'm trying to think oh you know there's so many Shah Rukh Khan movies that i actually really love that are from like the early 2000s or the late 90s but everybody knows them in any case um, you know, those are obviously good, like, new, uh, new Bollywood, uh, new to Bollywood good movies to view. <laughs> um, but I want to do some reviews on some movies to maybe introduce people who are familiar with Bollywood movies to some movies they've never heard of and some people who've never seen them to, uh, some movies that they could probably really enjoy. I, of course, have a different perspective on some of these things, being, you know, that I am American and I'm not Daisy, but, uh, I do hope that maybe you guys could enjoy those if I choose to do some videos about that. If you would like to see some videos about that please let me know um, because I do want to kind of branch out on my channel and do some different things because I I love talking about Islamic topics but that's not the only thing that is going on in my life is being Muslim <laughs> there's a lot of other things that I love like like art and I love Bollywood of course <laughs> or um you know there's a bunch of other things interior design for example that I love and I would love to be able to talk to you guys about some of those other things too even though I still do want to make videos on Islamic topics there's just a certain limit to how much and how often I can do videos that are solely about Islamic topics because I am not a scholar and I have a limit to how much I can talk about, which I have talked mostly about my experiences and different things like that with you guys in the past and I do want to continue to do that. So if you guys would love to or like to hear about other things going on in my life, please let me know because I would love to make videos about those kinds of things too for you guys and um, I think that the Bollywood movie reviews might be a good place to start because I do have some good recommendations for you guys, okay? <laughs> I think that you guys might really enjoy my recommendations if you gave them a try. Um, as far as for me making new videos, I'd really like to start posting and I'd really like your ideas from what you'd like to hear from me. So please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. Um, another thing that I would like to let you guys know about is the only social media that I currently have besides YouTube, which I count YouTube as a social media, um, the only social media that I have actually is Instagram. So if you're talking to somebody on any other platform that you think is me, um, it is probably, it is, it's not me. Okay, because that's the only, uh, social media that I have right now. And I'm gonna put my Instagram handle in the description box below so that I can change it in the future in case I ever choose to, um, you know, be off of Instagram or I choose to change my Instagram handle, then I'll change the description box below to reflect that in the future if I ever do change that. So I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on any other social media besides Instagram. 
Um, I used to have a Facebook a long time ago, actually. If you have talked to me on Facebook several years back, I think I actually deleted it maybe in 2013 or 14 thereabouts. Um, so I did have a Facebook at one time, but I no longer have a Facebook. Um, so I just wanted, it, you know, that actually reminds me of another thing is I do still check the comments on my videos, you guys, by the way, like my older videos and that kind of thing. And I have seen something a few times that I just wanted to address so that you guys know that I am not a very good poster with my videos. You guys know, anybody who has been a viewer of my videos for quite a while knows that I have long gaps in between the time that I post. That's just because I'm a bad poster, okay? I, you know, it, it, some, sometimes it does have to do with things going on in my life, like I was having some really bad medical issues for a while, but um, mostly it's just because I'm, I'm a bad poster and a really busy person, okay? But I've noticed that like anti-Muslim people will come onto my channel and onto my videos, and besides just like the regular things where people are just insulting me straight up and being like, oh, you're ugly, or oh, I hate you because you're a Muslim, this and that. I just, by the way, delete those comments and I don't even respond to them. So if you ever see those comments, don't bother getting in an argument with somebody um, on my channel because I'm just gonna delete their comment. It, like, it, it doesn't affect my life in any way. But the things that I have noticed that I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about is there's people on my channel who I've noticed will come and like lie on my channel th about things that they think is a, or th that like to try to bring other people down and make them think things about me to, I guess like just hurt their feelings or something. And let me give you an example real quick, just so that you know what I'm talking about. Um, there was on one of my videos, a somebody who commented like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while, sister, I'd love to hear from you. And somebody replied to that comment, oh, you know, sadly she left Islam, you know, like, I think they said like two years ago or something like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is this person talking about? And I hadn't posted videos in a while, but at the same time, I still had my social media, which you know, I had linked to my old videos as well, that my social media is unlinked on, linked on those as well. And I have people from my, um, who watch my YouTube channels who talk to me on my Instagram right now even. And so, um, I was like, okay, so this person just straight up lied to this other person that I left Islam and they're pretending to be a Muslim being like, oh, this is so sad. She left Islam like three months ago or something or, or three months ago, like two years ago or something. And they're just trying to make this person feel bad, just straight up lying to them. So, um, you know, I got I got another comment on one of my other videos that said something like, oh, she pretends to be all sweet in her videos, but she sent me this nasty, abusive message and she's really an awful person. I was like, okay, what? <laughs> that, you know, I, the only negative interaction I've ever had with somebody that came from my YouTube channel, who is Muslim? I'm not talking about the hater comments that I just delete. Um, the only negative interaction I ever had with somebody on my channel who was Muslim where, um, through like personal messages and that kind of thing was somebody who had friended me from my YouTube channel. They knew me from YouTube and friended me on Facebook when I still had a Facebook many years ago at this point. And she just friended me and was like, oh, hey, I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. Okay. And so I, I just accepted her friend request and then about a, we never interacted beyond that. And then about a year later, she messages me and she's like, hey, um, I just wanted to let you know that I decided to leave Islam and I think you should too because Islam is an, opp an oppressive religion to women and, um, you know, you should leave because you're oppressed was basically what she was saying. She was straight up telling me like how I am and how I should feel and that kind of thing. And so I was very annoyed by that and I told her, look, I said, you know, I'm very sorry that you left Islam. That makes me really sad. And I hope that you can have somebody to talk to about your feelings, but I'm not it. Okay. Like, you know, I just straight up told her, I'm not going to be your sounding board for your negative emotions and your negative feelings about Islam. Like, I'm not here to talk to you about that. And, you know, I wasn't mean and nasty to her. I'm sure somebody would be insulted by hearing that because, you know, they, they don't want to hear things that they weren't expecting to hear. But I'm not going to be somebody's negative sounding boards for their feelings about Islam. If they want to talk to somebody about that, I'm not the person to talk to about that. 
you know, so that's the only time I ever had a negative interaction with somebody. So seeing those like kind of comments is like, People just, you know, they, they, I, I'm shocked at the amount of time people spend to lie on, on Muslim channels about what people are actually like, or to lie about what's going on in their lives just to make other people feel bad, either about watching them or feel bad about what's going on with that person, just to try to, you know, hurt people's feelings. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, like, unless you're hearing something from me, like, try to take things with a grain of salt and, like, check on me on my social media if you're, like, really worried about it. Like, if you are really worried that I've left Islam, then please check on me on my social media because people enjoy lying on the internet, okay? Like, especially when it comes to stuff about Islam, look at any video that just barely messages Islam and you'll see all of the hater comments about people who are so, you know, upset that people even exist that are Muslim, okay? So, you know, just take things with a grain of salt. I just wanted to let you know, guys know that especially because I don't post videos regularly, people will come onto my channel and do that kind of thing. But anyway, I would like to start posting a lot more videos in the future. Thank you, you guys for watching all the way to the end of this and please leave a comment about what you would like to see from me in the future and hopefully I will be seeing you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum.